Are you looking to apply to schools with BSMD programs? We wanted to let you know that you can calculate your chances of admission at schools that offer BSMD opportunities with your free CollegeVine account. Start by completing your chanting profile with information such as your GPA, test scores, and extracurricular activities. From there, you can use CollegeVine's hub tool to see your chances and information about different schools, such as cost, majors, and more. Visit the link in the description below to sign up and see your chances today. So a BSMD program is a Bachelor of Science degree added with a Doctor of Medicine degree. So you have the BS side and an MD. That's where BSMD comes from. Here you apply for both your undergraduate program and medical school at the same time. So as a senior in high school, you're essentially saying, I want to go into medicine, and you basically apply for med school as a high schooler. It's a really daunting thing. Typically through one of these programs, you'll commit to one school or a partnership of schools. So what do we mean by that? If we're committing to one school, it could be something like in my program at Boston University, where as a high schooler, I knew I was going to undergrad at BU, and then I would matriculate to the BU Medical School. Right? So <clears throat> I've essentially committed to uh, one school over the next seven years, right? A partnership of schools is a little different. So in this case, this could be potentially in a Rutgers program in New Jersey. So a lot of people will end up going to uh, Rutgers or TCNJ or NJIT, and then in a seven-year program that eventually matriculates to, uh, I think it's the uh, NJMS, so New Jersey Medical School, right? Or the Rutgers Medical School. So in some sense, there's an undergrad school and then a partnered medical school at two different institutions. Point being for these programs is you're still going to need to maintain GPA requirements, take prerequisite courses, and often achieve a minimum MCAT score to matriculate to med school. So that being said, it's not kind of you get into medical school straight out of high school. You have to maintain certain grades, certain um, academic expectations in order for you to actually matriculate from undergraduate years into medical school. And some of the questions that already came through that I got um, in the Q&A box before this even started um, was what kind of naming system takes place with all these BSMD programs, right? So there's a lot of ways to say BSMD program and they're a little different from each other. So we talked through what BSMD was, that's Bachelor of Science and Doctor of Medicine degree. You can also apply to BAMD programs, which is Bachelor of Arts and Medical uh, degree. And that's actually what Boston University is. I'll actually finish undergrad with a Bachelor of Arts, um, not a Bachelor of Sciences. <clears throat> that being said, my undergrad major is still medical sciences, but it's just a BA degree, not a BS degree. It's more of just semantics there. We can also call these programs guaranteed accelerated programs. Um, it's guaranteed because you're guaranteed to get into medical school, contingent on the fact that you have meet minimum GPA requirements, take prerequisite courses, and ideally take an MCAT. It's accelerated because oftentimes it could be instead of an eight year or nine year path, um, four years undergrad, four years med school, maybe a gap year in between, you could end up taking seven years. So it could be a seven year program or an eight year program. And there's also something called a BSDO program. So that's Bachelor of Science and Doctor of Osteopathic Medicine. Right? So it's not the same as an MD degree, but in a lot of cases, you basically end up in the same career. Um, okay, so I realized something I didn't do was introduce myself in the first place. There's kind of a, a blip there. Mm. I will say that I am a first year medical student at Boston University, but I'm in, a, in the uh, seven year program at BU. So I finished three years of undergrad already. Um, and now I'm in my first year of medical school with another four years, four years to go, I guess. Um, I've been working with College Vine for the past three years and I've really loved working with families and students uh, applying to colleges, kind of helping them navigate the admissions process, learn new things about them along the way. So that's where I really like doing this work and it's kind of what I'm passionate about. Mm. Okay, so I do see a question from Deborah. I'm just gonna ask it now, I'll answer it now. Okay, so uh, Deborah asked, do BSMB programs exist for transfer students? Mm, oftentimes, no. So I kind of stated this already, it will be clarified later on, but BSMB programs are often only offered for students applying from high school because it's such a rigorous program and there's a lot of course requirements and it's 
a direct path from undergrad into medical school. Admissions programs will directly admit people from high school and starting year one, starting freshman year, they'll have a pretty rigorous coursework already set out. So as a transfer student attending, uh, starting sophomore or junior year in college, it'll be kind of logistically um, offsetting for a lot of colleges to do that. And for that reason, oftentimes, for the most case, I've, I haven't heard of a program that accepts transfer students into the SMB program. Mm. Yeah, Michelle actually asked a really good clarifying question here. So does BSMD or BAMD are all three-year undergraduate and four-year medical school? No, so that's not the case, right? So you can also have eight-year programs. Um, so seven-year comes from the three years undergrad, four years medical school. Eight-year could be four-year undergrad, four-year medical school. So for example, um, Washington University, St. Louis, um, Drexel University, those are common eight-year programs. There's definitely other ones out there. Um, but typically you'll either see seven or eight year programs and the number varies based on the years in undergraduate. So this is actually to answer Deborah's second question about early assurance programs. So early assurance programs are not the same as BSMD programs. Like BSMD programs, early assurance programs are for students committed to medical school. So it makes sense to apply via an EA program if you're interested in medicine. However, Early assurance programs usually are after sophomore year of undergraduate years. The student will apply for conditional acceptance to medical school. So to state the difference again, BSMD program applicants will come out of high school, high school seniors. Early assurance programs will typically be sophomores in undergraduate years, not high school, undergraduate, right? <clears throat> so typically early assurance programs uh, will provide an extra two years to ensure that medical path is right for the student. So they have up to two years in their undergraduate years to solidify that they want to go into medicine and then apply for some early assurance programs. So a good example of this would be uh, the University of Miami Early Assurance Program. It goes by a different name, but essentially what they have is sophomores at University of Miami can apply for guaranteed conditional acceptance into their medical school as a sophomore or junior. Um, they actually used to be a BSMD program a couple of years back, probably four years ago. Um, they changed over to an early assurance program because they decided high school students, they didn't want to admit high school students anymore into uh, directly into medical school um, for whatever reasons. But I would say that's actually almost a national trend that's happening. A lot of BSMD programs are converting into early assurance programs. Um, if you ask me why, I'm not quite too sure, but um, University of Miami is definitely like one of the first few to start doing that. So to talk a little bit about the benefits of BSMU programs, they're definitely guaranteed acceptance into medical school. And that's a really big thing, right? A lot of the times undergraduates, um, especially along the pre-med path, are striving for top grades, top test scores, um, huge volunteering requirements, just to be competitive applicants in medical school. But high schoolers can bypass this by applying for a BSMD program and almost gaining a conditional acceptance in the medical school without having to stress as much, right? These programs can provide less undergraduate stress and fewer requirements compared to traditional pre-med route. And it also gives time to explore interest in undergraduate years rather than stress about medical school admissions and applications building. So as an undergrad at BU, I took a minor in public health. I got to volunteer around Boston. I didn't really spend much time shadowing physicians or um, dedicating a huge amount of time to research, although I did get involved. These were really just passions of mine that I got to follow rather than kind of checklist items that I had to do. Right? So in some sense, my undergraduate years are a little more relaxed, less kind of intensive because I was allowed to just not be part of the competitive application, a uh, medical school application cycle. Right? Mm, that's not saying that there are no rigors of BSMB programs. We'll kind of jump at that in a bit. So if we're to look at elite and highly selective BSMD or guaranteed medical programs, let's say guaranteed medical, because some of these are seven, some of these are eight years, some of these are BSMD, some of them are BAMD programs, right? So we're gonna say guaranteed medical programs. Um, <clears throat> elite and highly selective would be schools like Northwestern, Brown, uh, Rice Baylor. And so what makes them elite and highly selective are two things. One 
is the competitiveness is just getting to the program in the first place. A lot of these rates of admissions or acceptance are less than 1% of all uh, applicants, even harder than the Ivy Leagues. The second thing that makes it really competitive is not just the undergraduate school. So getting into Brown and as an undergrad is still hard to do. Getting into Northwestern is super hard to do, right? Getting into their medical schools. These are actually top 30 medical schools overall, right? So getting into the medical schools is just even harder step. Right? That's why it makes them really elite and highly selective. Um, some of the more selective schools, just selective, include Drexel, George Washington. This is what I talked about, the partnership of schools, TCNJ plus NJMS. Um, yeah. So what makes them a little less selective is the undergraduate school rigor, also medical school rigor. They're just not as highly ranked. And then we have less selective schools. Um, again, this PowerPoint slide will be sent to you as a recording um, in the next 24 hours. It'll also be available on the College Vine website, right? So for those reasons, you can probably just go back on the PowerPoint later on, kind of pause the video, check out these slides, because there's a lot of schools to kind of look over. But I'll just kind of breeze through it right now. The less selective schools, a pattern you might pick up on is a lot of these are BSDO programs. So the Bachelor of Science, uh, Doctor of Osteopathy programs, right? Um, they just end up being less selective because at the end of the day, uh, the medical school, the Dostia, Doctor of Osteopathic School of me Medicine schools are less highly ranked than uh, comparative uh, medical schools. And that's just how it's been um, over a kind of history and that's just, just how they um, are. So uh, there's definitely some kind of reasons for that um, in terms of rankings, but that's just a general pattern to pick up on that I'm just pointing out. I'm uh, not really making kind of a statement on it or anything like that. 